Cabbage Patch. I'm Dad. I'm Tommy. And I'm Gus. All right. And th today we played Throw Throw Burrito, which is a card game for two to six players for ages seven and above. Yep. The object of the game is to score points by collecting three of a kind. The cards are named interesting things like Licky Chicky and Floaty Goaty and Jelly Jelly. Yeah, and Meow Cow. And Meow Cow. Was and Meow Cow. It's made by the same people that made Exploding Kittens, which is also oh, a good God. deal of fun, right? Uh, there are some special cards that you collect while you're doing it called Burrito Duels, yes. Burrito Wars, and Burrito Bar Brawls. Since there are three of us, uh, as far as I can tell, there's no difference between a Burrito Brawl and a Burrito War. So when you collect three of a kind for a Burrito Brawl or a Burrito War, you put them down and you say, Burrito Brawl! Or Burrito War! And, and one of them you're these, supposed to name... And then you throw these squishy burritos. And you throw these really squishy burritos at each other. And the way that you end the game is that has to happen six times, right? And then you get these little burrito bruises that you collect in front of And I know they look cute, but they're dangerous. But they're dangerous. Well, they're not that dangerous. So In the burrito world, they're in, dangerous. In the burrito world, that they're dangerous, exactly. So um, I think collecting three at a time is really hard when everything's happening at the same time, right? Because you don't take turns, do you? No. Why don't you look at the camera so that people can see it? Right, so if you're not taking turns. Just drawing cards and throwing them away into the pile where another player can draw them. Right, so I discard my cards onto Gus's draw pile. Gus discards his cards onto your draw pile, and then you discard yours onto mine. And we're always supposed to have five cards in our hands, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. So then we have to get three of a kind. We have to have five cards in our hand, and any time a burrito event shows up, you got to pick these burritos up, and the first person to throw them at the other person and hit, wins. And the person that got hit gets one of these bruises. And there are six of them. So once, as soon as six bruises have been delivered by burritos, the round is over. And when the round's over, what happens? You count up your points. You, you count up your points. And, one, and the person with the highest number of points, uh, burrito bruises are like minus points. Burrito bruises are burrito bruises are minus. Points. Burrito bruises. Uh, this person who gets the most points. <laughs> For the burrito bruises. The person that gets the most points gets the fear me badge. And then what happens? How do you win the game? Uh, you, if you already have the fear me badge, you have to get it twice. You have to get it twice. So somebody's got to get this twice in a row yeah. for the game to be over. So I don't think there was anything about this game we didn't like. Uh, except for the fact that it's it's. You always have to keep on good in case somebody goes brutal. And then you don't know what to do. All right, and it gets, gets kind of crazy, huh? So so what did you like the best, Gus? Uh, the burrito. The burritos? Yeah. Why, because they're squishy? Uh, because you throw them. Because you throw them. And normally you don't throw things. And normally you don't throw things in the board games, right? What did you like the best? Uh, I like the suspense. Whenever waiting for someone to yell, just yell, burrito roll, oh, and the panic. The, the panic system. We actually moved the table around a bit when we were playing, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, it got a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll show that. We'll, we will show that clip. The only thing I didn't like was when you throw the burrito, you have to go find it. Oh, God. <laughs> I did. Right. I never thought about that. Yeah, you have to go find it. And but, sometimes uh, when and sometimes when someone calls the burrito roll, the burrito isn't there. Yeah, the burrito's not there. For a panic, and then and and then you gotta wait for it, right? Okay, so those are the things we liked. Those are the things we didn't like. Um, was there an important rule to remember? Uh, always be on guard. It's not really a rule, but okay. You look at make sure the people see you. Always be on guard. Always be on guard. It's not really a rule. I think the most important rule for me to remember is that when you say burrito duel, which is the third kind of don't burrito. Don't just throw your, don't just throw the burrito. That's right. You have right. to do the, like, uh, you know, the, like, Th that's your, we'll demonstrate. Yeah, no, we won't demonstrate. We'll demonstrate it in a second. So the burrito duel is, if I put down three burrito duel, duel cards, I say who I want to duel, and it can be me. So I can say I want to duel Tommy, or I want Tommy to duel Gus. Yes. And you got to remember not to say burrito duel and then just immediately grab the burrito and throw it because it's not, that's not how it works. So you stand back to back. We can't do it in frame because the camera's, the, the camera just field of view isn't big enough. But you stand back to back, you count three, two, one, you turn around and you throw the burrito. And whoever gets hit, gets the burrito. And why are you counting burritos when you walk, you walk away from each other? Yeah, if you walk away from each other like an old timey duel. 
Right. So if we were to give this, is this cabbage or is this sauerkraut? Cabbage. Cabbage. Cabbage is good, right? Yeah. If you were to give it a bunch of cabbages, how many cabbages do you get? One, two, or three? Three. Three? You give it three cabbages? Yeah. How about you? Two. Two and a half cabbages with, with the blue cheese dressing. Two and a half cabbages with blue cheese dressing. Um, that sounds terrible. Uh, I think I'd give it three as well because it's a lot of fun and it's something that you guys like to play. The reason I'm giving it two and a half in one piece, piece dressing is because there's there's always a possibility for another game. Well, there is always a possibility that another game is better. Um, so if you really, really wanted to give it a score, you'd give it a three? Yeah. Okay, so this has gotten all nine cabbages. So that's awesome. All right, well, thanks everybody. Appreciate yeah. you watching us. Um, please subscribe to the channel. What's the rest of the stuff you're supposed to say? Uh, like and hit, ring that bell. Like and ring that bell. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Or also, hit, or also throw a burrito at you. <laughs> or else you throw a burrito at them. Um, let's not let's not burn that them, or else they won't want to subscribe. <laughs>
two, three, four, yeah, five. Yeah, you won. All right. <laughs> yeah, you won. So you get the fear me. 